Hello, everybody. We're continuing on with my series of hands-on learning Japanese. So now we are going to finish up this lesson. This is just a um, advertisement. And now we're going to lesson three. Actually, before we go into lesson three, let's go on to Let's learn some more katakana. We have opened up lesson five, so let's go to there. Na. Na. Ni. Ni. Ni is also the uh, symbol for two, which is kind of nice. Na. Na. Nu. Ne. 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 So we need ne, na, ne, nu. No. I guess I can see why this would be used. No, right, as in hiragana is also used as a particle, so putting like no, no next to each, like no and no next to each other might look weird, so having uh, katakana right there might be easier. Mm. Ne. No. Oops, no. 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 Nah. Nope, that's not it. No. 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 Me. Oh, um. No. Me. No. 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 Let's see, uh, shoot. Ah. Nah. Oh. Nah. Nee. Nee. Nah. 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 Okay, so we've done lesson five. Let's go back and let's start lesson three. Korean. I guess this is Korean. Kankokujin. Watashi wa Kankokujin. Kankar Kokojin. Yes. Watashi wa Kankokujin de wa arimasen? De wa arimasen. Yes, I got it. Watashi wa kankokujin de wa arimasen. Watashi wa nihonjin de wa arimasen? Watashi wa nihonjin de wa arimasen. Kankokujin. Kankokujin. So, ka in, ka in, ko, Ko Jin So this has to go before uh, after wa so this is wa right before it so Watashi wa Nihonjin de wa arimasen Watashi wa Kankokujin de wa arimasen? Watashi wa kankokujin de wa arimasen. 
Which floor? Okay, I don't want. Why is Neil there? I'm not British, so. Watashi wa igirisu jindo wa arimasen. Wait. Igirisu jindo wa. Okay. I'm like, wait a second. Is this one it? But no, it's this one. Watashi wa America Jin de Warimasen. This goes at the end because it has to go after British. I am not Japanese. That's correct. Okay. Watashi wa Kankoko Jin des. That's that's the first one. That's wrong. What's the next one? Watashi wa Nihonjin des. But that's the positive form, so we're looking for the negative form. So it must be this one. Watashi wa Nihonjin de wa arimasen. So Watashi wa America, so we're looking for America. America Jin. America Jin. Oh, great, I love this. Kan? Ko. Ko. I am not Korean, so what this is Watashi wa Chugoku Jin de Des. This is the only one with wa, but I'm going to read through them anyways. Watashi wa Kankoku Jin Des. And then Watashi wa Kankoku Jin de wa arimasen. Watashi wa Kankoku Jin de wa arimasen. So we need Watashi, and then Wa, Watashi wa Igirisu Jin, de wa arimasen. Okay, Watashi wa, uh, Watashi wa ni... Where's ni? Ni. Ho. ho. We're looking for ho. Wa. No, that's wa. Ho. Jin. Mm. Hong. Ji. Mm. De. De. Wa. Wa. A. Di. Yeah, we got it. Watashi wa e no e gi de de what e gido Gidi I don't know. Let me try it again. Watashi wa so you know what she wa e イギリス人ではありません。イギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギリスイギ
れ。OK。We're good. Story. Let's do the reading. Hajime Maste. Hajime Maste. Watashiwa Sakura desu. Watashiwa Sakura desu. Ah, no! Don't do this to me! I don't know what I'm cooking. Oh, no, my wa? Watashi wa Nihon Jin desu. Watashi It said something about being American, so. What did it say? Okuniwa. Okuniwa. Shumiwa, yoko desu. Shumiwa, yoko desu. Dozo, yoroshiku. Dozo, yoroshiku. This is asking her name, I think. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Okay, this is. Well. Ah! Okay, there we go. We're going to read over the learning tips, and that will be all for today. Yes or no questions. Building a yes or no question in Japanese is simple. Just put the question marking particle ka at the end of a declarative sentence when it then say it with rising intonation. So we went over this. We said when I was teaching you guys the hiragana, I said ka is a question mark. It's a particle, and I explained this to you. Questions in Japanese don't use question marks at the end of the sentence, but a period instead. So, however, a question mark may be used in formal writing on occasion. Unlike the English period, the Japanese period is shaped like a small circle. Example. Anata wa chukoku jin desu ka? Okay. Anata wa nihon jin desu ka? And enough. Ono to. Oh, ono hito wa America jin desu ka? Two. Personal pronouns. Below are first person, second person, and third person subject pronouns in Japanese. Personal pronouns in Japanese always keep the same form regardless what part of speech they are in. First person. Watashi. Watashi. Watatashi. Second person. Anata. Anatatachi. Ano hito. Ano hito tachi. Kara. I. Kara. Ra. Kara da. They male. And kono jo, kono no tachi. No, the first person singular pronoun watashi wa, or watashi, is a polite way of referring to oneself and can be used both by males and females. If the speaker is male, he can also use the, I don't know that word again, more kolo ko pronouns, boku, or ore to refer to himself among friends. Boko is slightly more polite than ore. The second person singular pronoun, anata, 
can be replaced with Kimi for more casual tone between friends. Note that Kimi you is, however, most used by a man to address a woman. Please avoid using Anata or Kimi to address someone senior or a higher position or elder. Third person singular pronouns are an Anohito, that person, and Kare, he, and Kanojo, she. This is m the more frequently used third person pronoun as gender neutral para he and konojo can be referred can be used to refer to a boyfriend or girlfriend respectively. Adding tachi to the end of the form of a singular pronoun gives us a plural form, but with one exception. The plural the plural form of kara he is kara de kara da those men, not kara tachi. Sensei and kai shain. Sensei is a formal and respectful term to address one or to refer to one's teacher. A teacher is dressed directly as sensei, also as in sensei arigato, teacher, thank you. Sensei can also be used to address other learned people, such as physicians, lawyers, authors, or politicians to show respect. Kaishin, kaishin refers to anyone who works in a corporate setting. The gari, gari ra, go is borrowed from a foreign word, shari, shari man. Okay, yeah. Also has the same meaning as Kaishayin. On Yomi reading, Chinese readings for kanji characters. In Japanese, a kanji character can have several readings. The term On no, 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 me, Onomi can be literally translated as sound reading, a imitation of the original Chinese pronunciation. One kanji may often be used the same onaimi reading or pronouncing even in several different kanji compa compound words. I'm so sorry for my reading, guys. Okay. Although it may have other onaimi readings associated with it. For example, the kanji uses the same onaimi reading as pronounced as say. Say. Se, e. Yeah, se. And three different word, different combinations below. So it follows, so that, so it follows that the next time this kanji, kanji appears, you may well be able to guess its pronunciation is se, e, also. Sensei, gakusei, ru gakusei. Can you guess how say is pronounced in life? Okay, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a good day, and good luck.